Hi everyone, this is Miss Amy here to do another fun art project. Today we're going to create this really cute portrait of a panda. So let's go over our supplies we need to make this cute panda. You will need a piece of black construction paper, a pencil with an eraser, and some oil pastels. I am using black and white, a green, a lighter green and a yellow. Those are what the all I'm using for this project. And then you want to have a paper towel to clean your fingers or to clean your oil pastels. So when you have a dirty oil pastel, you can just kind of twist it in the paper towel and it'll clean it right up and get it ready to use. All right, so let's get started. We're going to take now, if you would like, you can actually draw with your eraser on your black construction paper. It is a little bit harder to see, um, but you can do that if you want to draw that way. Or I'm going to go ahead and draw with my pencil so you can see it a little bit better. Um, but either way, whatever way works best for you, you can do it. All right, so we're going to find the middle of our paper, about the middle, right there is about the center, and come down just a little bit and then draw a curved line. That's gonna be our panda's nose. Now, I do have my paper in landscape direction and my panda's gonna fill my paper. So I make him nice and up close so we can see him really well. Okay, and then we're gonna make, um, after we make that curved line, we're gonna make like a rounded V shape. So kind of a V, but with a rounded part at the end draw a little line and our little nostrils for our panda. And then I'll probably curve his nose just a little bit here. There we go. And then we're gonna make his little mouth by a straight line. And then I make a curve line come around and stop. Curve line come around and stop. And then from this curve line over here, I'm actually just gonna make kind of a square. It's not a perfect square, it's kind of rounded that's going to be his chin and you can round it a little different if you want to um, your panda can look a little different than mine all right and then i'm going to take this line and i'm going to curve it above right to where i get near that corner of that nose so i'm going to curve it around and then i'm going to go up and over for the eyebrow and same on this side trying to create that same shape just the opposite direction and just get rid of any lines that you don't like or don't want. All right, and now I'm gonna create that black. They both have that black um, spot around the eye. So we're gonna just continue this line, kind of come down and come around and right up to the edge of the snout there. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then inside those spaces, we're gonna create the little eye, kind of a roundish eye. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and just do the tops and then the bottoms. Make that round. And if your eyes are a little bigger than mine, that is okay. And then I make a big circle in the center. It touches the top and bottom and all those pencil lines will be covered later. All right, then I find the center of the top of the nose, go straight up and put a little dot there at the top and that's gonna be the top of the head where I'm give me a good guideline to go by. So I'm just gonna curve a line around. Now my paper, it's gonna actually go off my paper this time and that is okay because my chin is down here at the bottom of the head you can't see it because my panda is so close up. It's like he came really close to my picture and says hello. So I'm gonna curve that around there. And then I'm gonna create the body by creating a little line on this side and then a little line kind of just going off on that side. You don't really see a lot of the body part because he's so big up close. And then I'm going to make a curved line over here for one ear and do the same shape over here for the other ear. And I think we're done with our pencils. We can adjust anything when we start coloring with our colored pencils. 
or with our um, oil pastels. So you want to get your white oil pastel out, make sure it's nice and clean. And we're going to do a simple, we're going to do a um, neat scribbling technique with our oil pastel. We want to get a lot of cool texture in here to make it look like hair or fur on our thick fur on our uh, panda bear. So, and we want to make sure that we color in the direction of our lines, the direction the hair would be. So I start around the snout here, around the nose, and I'm just coloring neatly. It's a neat scribble. I'm using just normal pressure, not really light pressure, not really heavy. And um, just coloring around that shape of that nose. And then I'm going to actually leave a little bit of space where that mouth is. I'm going to leave a little bit of black paper showing there. I'm not going to color right up to the edge of that because I want to know that that's the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and scribble following the shape of my and uh, come across the top of the nose, making sure I stay in the direction the hair is or the fur, kind of scribbling around that um, black spot. Now I'm making sure I use shorter scribbles instead of big, long scribbles. You want shorter scribbles, and that's going to make it look like he's short, he's short and furry short fur. So when I get up to the top of the head, I'm going to scribble over the edge of the line just a little bit, just making those short little lines. And that's going to give them that fuzzy look right along the edge of his face there. So I'm going to come down the side here. And I'm going to leave a, now as I come down around his chin and stuff, I am going to leave a little bit of black paper showing through there because I want to be able to tell that that's different. And I'll be adding some value later to that with my black, but I want to leave that edge there. And you can go ahead and add a little bit of white inside his chin too, leaving a little bit of that black edge And then going around this side. Coloring all that in. He's looking fuzzy. Looking like a furry. See that wonderful texture, that hair, that fur there? Makes it look like it's really thick when you see some of that black paper coming through. All right. So once we have that white in, we want to grab our black. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start with his ears. Kind of scribble over the edges. You can make them standing up hair if you want to do that. Or you can make it a little smaller scribbles to make it shorter hair. You can make your panda unique, unique if you like. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead around the eye. Um, now, when I get up around the, the snout area, I am going to follow smoothly along that line because that black hair won't be on top of the nose. That nose is in front of the rest of the face. So we don't want to overlap that. It's okay to do it above the eye here. I'm going to go around the eye. There, he's looking awesome. Go around this eye. Smooth along around the nose, and I can scribble out around that edge of that black spot there. And 
Okay, and I'll leave some space around the eye. We're not gonna do the eyes quite yet. And then I'm gonna do this on the body, scribble just a little bit on the body down there. There we go. And then what I'm gonna do is come back to the nose. Now the nose is a little different. I'm gonna use a real heavy pressure and try not to let any black paper show through. So we want the nose to look smooth. We don't want the nose to look like it's hairy, like the rest of them. And a nice smooth nose. It's okay that you cover everything up. We kind of know where it is, so we'll be able to add that back in. But we're gonna make a nice smooth nose. Okay, nice and smooth there. And then I'm gonna kind of come down and fill in that mouth a little bit some black and lightly around the bottom of the chin and then I'm going to go ahead and add some lines now I'm using really light pressure on my oil pastel because I don't want that to be just solid black down there I just want it to be a little darker showing a little bit of value there and then as I get up I'm going to do lighter and lighter so it kind of doesn't look like a, just a stops ab abruptly. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple lines just above his eyes over here, just to add a little bit more texture into his hair. You can go ahead and add a little dots for where they have a little bit of whiskers. I'm not gonna actually add whiskers, but you can definitely show the little dots there on his face looks cute all right now for the eyes you're going to do a solid heavy pressure and just fill in that center circle for now there his eyes aren't hairy so they need to be nice and smooth okay wipe my fingers off now i want to get my um white oil pastel and I'm going to go ahead and work on the nose so I'm going to just go around the edge of where the nostrils were with my white a little bit just to show where they are and kind of a highlight on the nose recreate that line in the center and then I'm going to do it with a real heavy pressure with the top make that little shiny spot on his nose there's a little bit of shininess to his wet nose there and then I'm going to just slightly outline the edges of the eye with my white. I'm going to add a few little lines lightly above the eye, just a light little light reflecting off the hair there, giving him some eye some hair above his eyes, eyebrows. And then I'm going to take my white and do a really heavy pressure and create that white dot in the eye just for that light hitting the eye makes them look alive okay then i'm going to take my white and add a little bit of lines to the top of my ears just give them in a little bit of value there a little bit of light reflection a little bit of light on the back of my body And then I'm going to I'm going to lighten up a little bit of white areas on my face. So usually around the nose a little bit, I'm just going to lighten it up above the nose, a little bit lighter there, just by using a little bit heavier pressure and adding in some more of that white. A little bit on this side. Okay, just lightening that up a little bit. And the last step we want to do with our panda bear is create our background. Now I'm using greens because I thought that kind of reminded me of bamboo. So I'm going to take my darkest green and just go in one direction up and down the whole way. I'm just going to do my neat scribbling again and scribble up a little bit over halfway on my paper. Bamboo is their favorite food, so I kind of wanted to give the idea of that bamboo being in the background without actually drawing bamboo. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lighter green and overlap 
go overlap my darker green and then color a little bit more right up to almost leaving a little bit at the edge at the top. Now I'm just scribbling close to my bear without right up to the edge. It's okay to leave a little bit of uh, black paper showing. Now I'm going to take my yellow and overlap my light green and then fill in the rest of that paper. Do the same over here. Just gives it some nice cut backgrounds and there. There we go. Very nice. That is our portrait of a panda with some great texture and some value. So thank you so much for joining me for this fun project. Always feel free to send me a picture of your finished project. I would love to see it. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Bye-bye.